Hey everybody, welcome back to another Lion Plays Dead Cells. Whew, here we are again. Torch. Electric whip. Frontline shield. Cannot be used to parry. I mean, I, let's do a torch and shield build for now. It's not that it matters too, too much. We did really well on the last run. I gotta be honest, like, it was a choke job on the final boss. But we have a, a great track record thus far. We know we're going to want to level in survival. We have a great track record thus far of, uh, of making it there. It's three times in a row. You know what's going to happen. Might not be this video. Might not be next video. Might be every video for the rest of your lives. Your boy loves a death orb. Extremely loves a death orb. I think I would prefer that to an ice grenade, and we keep the ivy grenade just to annoy enemies. Um, the assassin's dagger is very well liked, as far as I understand it. Can't be sold, that's right. Because um, all you need to do is backstab an enemy in order to crit him. Which is actually, as you can see right there, highly, highly doable, and consistently so. So I'm... I'm feeling okay. You might think that I'm uh, disappointed about the last episode, and in a way I am, but uh, I'm not that results-oriented in a game like this. I'm much more, uh, you know, I trust the process. We got there in Isaac. We're getting there in Slay the Spire, and we'll get there in Dead Cells as well, even if it hasn't happened quite yet. And one thing that's been a uh, universal constant in... Uh, so that's the hunter's grenade, but I don't even know what that does, so... You know, we should take it. Throw this grenade to aggravate it. Add a monster to aggravate it a little. Beat it down to 40% health or less. Then use the blueprint extractor on the monster to obtain a blueprint from it. What the hell? Sell it. <laughs> You know why I'm selling it, and I might be wrong about this, okay? And I'm willing to admit it. It says use the blueprint extractor. I don't know what the heck the blueprint extractor is. Now, it's possible maybe when you throw the hunter's grenade, it transforms into the blueprint extractor or something like that. But for now, I'm like, if I don't know how to enable it, I'm not going to roll with it, okay? We're going to go brutality for now because we need the 50%. Uh, and we're actually real close to missing this timed door. So if you'll excuse me, your boy is going to run. And he's going to... He's going to miss it. He's going to miss it. He's probably going to miss it. I don't think you can make it in two seconds. I, I really don't. Um... Is that the end of the world as we know it and we feel fine? No, like, we might... We might be able to be okay, despite this. So, dude, I don't know. We're gonna start with, uh... Saves you once if you meet a premature end, just because we can. And then we're gonna run very, very quickly. Hey, thank you, the virus. No, I don't want to continue to hold this no for that long, but... That sucks. Yeah, nine seconds ago. And I kind of want to restart, but we can't really. Probably trying to get that hunter's grenade screwed us. But what did we get screwed out of in the end? Very little, right? We got screwed out of one scroll. Some gold we, we probably would not even respect. And then uh, some cells that we don't care about. So, losing one scroll, let's try not to consider that the end of the world. I will sell an oil grenade, and we'll try to pick up the pace a little bit here. So yeah, I was having a good time on our last Dead Cells run, and particularly after we left the the second boss fight against the Assassin, I was like, I'm in the clear. You can't stop me. Obviously, I don't necessarily feel the same way anymore. <laughs> but... Uh, We'll see. 
We have to kill all the enemies. I, I literally just tried to run past these enemies. That is not the way this works. So right now, I do like the Assassin's Blade. Can I... Am I okay to say, like, I'm a little mad about that? I don't think the game lied to me. But, uh... I kind of thought blocking a shot wouldn't count as something that ruins the chance of completing a challenge room. It does do damage. That's what I mean when I say it's not lying to me. Maybe it's just a little salt talking in the present moment, but... Struck me as just... Just slightly a slap in the face. Why am I fighting enemies? Here, move on. Oh, well... <laughs> little shot from a sword? Not enough damage. Doesn't even tickle my carapace. Uh, two feet fall? I'm dead. Not me, but, uh, you know, them. This run, to me, right now, feels brutality-esque. If we're gonna do a brutality build... Um, a shield is not necessarily a bad choice. What is this again? Acid nerves. Oh, right, it's the QTE. I think uh, we're actually probably going to replace it immediately with the Ice Bow, just because I like the synergy more, but we'll see. I sold it immediately. Hey, that's what happens when you're a little bit unfocused. <laughs> Sorry, we're, still, we're so early. I feel like your build... Obviously, it matters. But it doesn't matter that much until you get a little further into the game. We're going to be very, very slightly scroll deficient here, but like, try not to let it get you down. So remember, we're looking... Oh, I love that. We're looking Ramparts... Eight minutes. Considering we missed our last time door by nine seconds, I don't think we should be too uh, teary-eyed about this right now. We got every available opportunity to do what we're looking for. So I'm kind of trying, like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm committed to going a Brutality build, but for now, it's the way it looks. And I'll be straight up with you. I think I'm playing, like, garbage on the opening of this, but we're going to get there, okay? Have faith. I'm not even going to say ye of little faith, because I think your faith is probably at an acceptable and appropriate level, all things considered, right now. So if we're going to do a... Uh, yeah, this is where we want to go. If we're going to do... A brutality build instead of a tactics build. We have one kind of gaping hole in my knowledge of, of how to handle this, which is what the heck are our best tactics. I'm going to assume our best tactics are going to be brutality... Or best skills, I should say. Our best skills are going to be brutality scaling and, like, damage dealing. And things that, I mean, we're not going to rely on them so much for the continuous and sustained damage they're going to do, but more of like an explosion sort of thing, like like the fire grenade. Scales with red, does damage, is going to have a cooldown that's kind of ridiculous, but maybe it's not the end of the world for now. This should just lead to the old sewers, yeah. And are we done with the floor? No, there is a treasure room we missed. The Nutcracker. Extra damage on a bleeding target. Nah, it's... Strikes me as substantially worse minus the stun power. Plenty of time to get to the ramparts here. Don't freak out! You're freaking out. Ivy, ice, and regular grenade. Oh, this is it. I'm sorry, Death Orb. You got a lot of potential power associated with you, but we got a combo now. Now we need... Uh, well, like, watch this. I'll just... Proof of concept. Yeah. And I know I'm leaving the cells behind. I can live with that. Ramparts. Take me to the ramparts, please. Um, we have a grenade that does double damage against burning targets, and a grenade that makes targets burn. So we have a great combination for burst damage right now, and I'm very happy to see that. That, I mean, 
You'll, you maybe I border on self-parody from time to time, but this is yet another brutality fire build. But after like three days of trying to spin a tactics build and mostly being content in the way that they worked, but we could use a little more, right? Um, 52 damage a second if an enemy is taking poison, bleed, or burn damage. Sure. And then I think we probably do want plus 30% HP as our next one. Although we do want to spam our uh, abilities as often as possible. The mutation system is really smart. Because now that we've uh, started to use more of them, I'm like, yeah, there's, there's a lot of these that I actually do enjoy. There's a lot of these that I would like to, uh, that I would like to take with me. Before I was like, ah, I don't know. I got one mutation I like and the rest are garbage. Definitely do not feel that way anymore. Okay, if you'll excuse me, like... I know you're getting up to some business here, but... I really need to get to this timed door. I don't have a whole lot of... <laughs> time to do it, so... If you'll just F off, that'd be nice. Hey, a grenade! Uh, it doesn't do extra damage on a burning target, and as a result, we cannot take it. If we miss this timed door... I don't want to say cancel Christmas, but maybe like... Postpone President's Day? Did I miss it? I don't think I missed it. Ah, oh, there we go. We did make it. Okay, 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 okay. So we're gonna go there. One extra scroll for daddy. Two extra scrolls for daddy, my mistake. And we're still leveling Brutality really highly right now. And the reason we're leveling Brutality so highly right now is because I want to kill enemies before they can hit me. 812 is a little light in scrolls still, but uh, it's okay. Keep in mind, after this floor, we'll probably take the mutation that allows you to get plus 30% HP. So that's another, well, that's like another like 150 HP right now, which is not a lot, but it scales. And, uh... We may well choose to be a little bit more aggressive in our scrolls in the future. Or a little a little bit less aggressive, really, I should say. I don't know, though. Maybe we are interested in rolling uh, a little bit more of... I don't want to say a tactics build, because that gives you the wrong idea. But maybe we want to roll the tactics mutation... Also, really, really want to get that Guardian Scroll, but we'll see if that's plausible. I think it's right down here. Because the thing is, uh, oh, there it is. The thing is, our, our tactics, or our skills, I should say, are not necessarily that important. But I think they could become important the more and more we face enemies that are the kind of enemies we don't want to face head on. Usually this is Black Bridge, so um, we'll just want to teleport away if possible. Yeah. Nice try. Yeah. So that's where I'm torn. Is like we obviously we need two things right now, and I guess that's where the design of the game actually succeeds. We need two things. But we can, at least in the mutation front, we can only take one of them right now. I don't know whether I'd rather have a reduced cooldown so we can spam our abilities more often, which definitely seems to fit with our, uh... more aggressive style of building. Or building the run, I should say. It's not like it's Sim City. Um... Or if we want to be a little bit more conservative and accept that, especially in the late game, we're gonna need some HP because we have a Bad habit of not being the greatest player of all time against that boss, you know? Oh, a scrolled enemy. Because we've gotten two scrolled enemies, I kind of feel like we're not behind the 8-ball too much here. I Right now, I'll just be honest with you, I think I'm going to go HP. Does do extra damage on a burning target, but unfortunately we... 
be most likely to give up the fire grenade to make that happen, I think. Like, the heavy grenade, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with. Although, I guess with an infantry, infantry grenade, you could use it, um, like, three times as often. But that doesn't matter, because right now we have, like, a mission-critical, uh, fire grenade. What I mean by that is... The infantry grenade is only going to be worth throwing in situations where an enemy's on fire, and our fire grenade still has, like, a long cooldown, so... I don't think it really helps us that much. So this run, in terms of speed, this run has picked up to an insane degree. Uh, that was not as cool as I was hoping it would be. We should destroy... ...the unfamiliar one, or the unfinished one, I should say. You... Give me the 30% HP. It's a little bit more conservative than I'd like to play, but... Now we need, uh, with our cells, we need to pick up a secondary weapon. A secondary weapon that enables fire would be nice. Uh, a shield would be acceptable because we're not using it... Like, we're essentially never using our secondary ability right now, so... Like, it just... The crits from it are kind of bad. I got no problem just facing this guy head on. You're gonna split in just a second, I can tell. Yeah, there we go. We wanna watch out for the AoE. Little, little cumbersome. We pretty much got him, though. Maybe, instead of focusing on only getting the crit, you shouldn't sweat that so much. Just heal up real quick, even if you get hit after. It's not that big of a deal. Man, this guy used to be tough. Or, let's be honest, we used to think he was tough. And then we die against him right now. <laughs> I don't think so. Although, on the other hand, that was a little closer than I'd like. But I think it's just because, uh, you know, we have the shell of a build. We don't have a guaranteed sort of, like, perfect setup yet. But I'm surprisingly unperturbed about this situation. And I'm ready, I think, to, to live my life. I, I may want to actually pay and repick our skills, but I, can we pick all of our mutations at once? And can we still get the one that gives us a life gain? Because the problem right now is we're not enabling our elemental synergy that often. No torch. Bomber. Uh, ranged? Anything ranged that has fire? No. Nothing ranged that has fire. We have the quick bow, we have the lightning bolt, we have the ice bow. We have a flashbang. <laughs> you can tell how I build my runs most of the time. Well... I hate like all of these. No red scaling. Oh my lord. Well, we can get a red scaling frontline shield. And then just get a shove shield because you can. And then just get a force shield because you can. And then put the rest in the other guy. All damage taken minus 15%. I think it's completely acceptable. We don't really care about this. All damage taken minus 15%. Blocks 85% instead of 75%. Attacks immediately after parrying, inflict 300% damage, throws a grenade. Eh. That's pretty much how I feel about this one. Eh. I'm not a huge fan. But, dude, fast run. 19 minutes onto the Fog Fjord. 19 minutes off to the foggy field. I'm just a notch in your bed post and you're just a line and it's a notch in your... Yeah, I mean, you know, I was of the right age. Can you blame me? 
for a little Fallout Boy reference. Now, Forgotten Sepulchre or Clock Tower? Wonderful question. You know, I want to, and I always do this because I'm, I'm basically hedging my bets from a commentary standpoint, worried that like maybe this run will be in a bad spot uh, and people will be like, NL, you suck, which is plausible and not even necessarily incorrect, but... No. You know, there was a time... In Dead Cells, and that time was not that long ago, where when making it to the Fog Fjord was like an incredible achievement, and we we looked at each other as as viewers and and commentator alike, and we said, "Wow, you're so good at this game. What happened? The Fog Fjord is a dream come true." That time has passed, and we shouldn't be. Uh, necessarily just happy with the way that whoops, the way that a run is going if the run is not particularly good you know and if, especially if we're the ones that are, are playing badly and causing bad things to happen I'm loving this damage reduction already I'll tell you that much because we took some hits we shouldn't have taken there but you know it also helps to remember where you where you started And we've done a really good job of uh, getting more consistent in Dead Cells. I don't really care about using the key. Like, it doesn't factor into my decision-making process at this point. There might still be a blueprint we need, but I don't know. You know what else we need, by the way, is... Uh, and, and need is a strong word, because I'm, I'm learning that in Dead Cells, the scrolls are key and the equipment is, is somewhat secondary, but... It would be nice... Extra damage on a beaning target. I think this might be worth it. I don't know. Do we have anything that does the extra damage on a frozen target? Not yet. But are we ever going to use our shield? No, but it is reducing 20% of our damage by default, which is really nice. Um, the broadsword has some problems. Namely, it's very slow. We don't want to be in here. Let's go. And, I mean, I guess for a slow weapon, you could be forgiven for wanting to roll uh, a Frost Blast, because it does give you that, like, shield protection, but... I don't know. I think equipment is secondary, and what is king in the game is, uh, is stats. And also, like, your own performance, I guess, but... Just find myself not 100% convinced in the value of this right now. I will try a cursed chest. And it's very, very scary right now. I know it's colorless, but I so enjoy our existing items. So we just wanted to wait a second there. Is our cooldown up? Yes, it is. Ice these two fools. Just be very, very careful here. Hoping for the best. There's no reason to rush. Probably do not want to fight an elite yet. Looking forward to some damage reduction stacking potentially if we're able to get through this uh, period of relative strife. These guys are usually not that bad. You gotta throw those in opposite order. Right trigger, left trigger. I worry we're going to aggravate the bats. Hmm. I don't really want to fight. Oh, there's another scroll. Hello. Dude, that might have been like as ideal as you could ever ask for. Because the curse is now lifted. These enemies have like toxic blood or something. I don't know what's going on there, but I'm highly for it. Anyway, we, we, we're getting distracted now. We have to fight this elite. Hopefully get a good uh, medallion. You 
just gonna stand there, huh? I mean, like, I, I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but you got about five seconds left in your lifespan right now. Is there anything you'd like to do? I missed you. <laughs> and then I killed you with a parry? What a world. All damage taken minus 10%. Very, very happy to see that. And actually, I think we've, uh, we've cobbled together some goodness out of this run. Certainly no longer do I consider myself scroll deficient. Trying to practice that parry, but you gotta know... When it comes to dealing with the final boss... Don't expect... Too many, uh... Too many parries. It's just a little dicey. Little unlikely. We've definitely not been to every room. Please, please. Because there's a there must be this treasure room up here I've not yet visited. Did I even find treasure now that I think about it? I literally just tried to parry an explosion. So if you're wondering what my confidence levels are on this run, apparently they're extremely high. There are those who said it couldn't be done, but check it out. We just friggin' did it. I don't know, I'm so hesitant. It's like if I use my grenade, it's an admission of the run not being perfect or something. We can't take either. I mean, we, in theory, we could take the flashbang, but it would be a very stupid decision, and uh, the only thing good about it right now is the... Uh, the extra damage reduction. So I think we're ready to leave. And we're at 17 minutes, so the time is good. Every time. Each time. Each time. Oh, every time. Boo, do, 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 do. It's uh, Any Way You Want It by Journey, but with the lyrics changed to be about dead cells. Any cell you take, and that's the cell that's dying. Any cell you take, you can do, 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 do. She loves the red. She loves the green. She loves everything. She loves the blue. Loves purple too. She loves a lot of things. It's just a song about a lady who loves colors. Like, I don't know what blue is in Dead Cells, but... Any skill you want it, that's the skill you get it. Any skill you want it. Okay, we can stop there. Underrated... Dude, if I... Every hockey game I've ever been to in the last, like, seven years, they play Don't Stop Believing in the third period. Maybe it's just because the Canucks consistently are behind by that point, so they play that as, like, a motivational song or something for the audience. But then I watch, like, every other... Well, I don't watch every other away game. That would be ridiculous. But, you know, every other arena in the world does exactly the same thing. And you start to be like, this isn't our song. That's a song about... That, that should be a Red Wings song. Even though the song is about leaving Detroit. And literally taking the midnight train to go anywhere else. But if you ignore that, like... It's like when, uh... Kate and I were at the Olympics. Because we're big shots, obviously. And, um... We watched the, uh... The women's... I see that you have a scroll there. Oh, we watched the women's. No, we watched the women's, uh... Gold medal hockey game. And when the uh, America won, more power to you, honestly. It was a good game, and you guys uh, outplayed us. It's hard to admit. We got a lot of pride about our uh, national pastimes here, but it's true. You did, and you deserved to win. But after they won, uh, and I don't think the American team wanted this necessarily, but the stadium started playing Born in the USA, and I was like, ah, you should look to the lyrics about that song, because it's not even like about the fact that it's about a veteran and it's actually about like a disillusionment with uh, the United States is more about the fact that there's lines in that that especially in our particular uh, situation right now are, are not really conducive to good relations you know 
There's a line in it that's like, sent me off, went across the sea to kill the yellow man, and I was like, I don't think that we should be playing this here. Don't get me wrong, I love a little Bruce Springsteen, I just think it's not necessarily the most opportune moment. Now. Let's go. Dude, we have a run building here. Despite the perhaps inauspicious way it began. We're looking good statistically. This is probably the most brutality we've ever had. We have a shield and I, I as of yet, have no idea how much that's going to be worth it for us, but assuming we could maybe land some parries on the boss. I mean, you saw that we were hitting him for 3,000 with the broadsword. Probably fit in a couple of attacks there. You know, you're looking at like 5,000 damage, and now I'm starting to realize that's roughly about as much as like a single, uh, stop. A single uh, bow and arrow shot from last round was. But hey, we didn't use them properly, so. Very dumb. Tried to roll through an explosion. Heal up. I see a scroll. I would like to get to this scroll. Ooh, a better fire grenade. All damage taken minus 20%. So it's even better in damage reduction. And we have a bunch of damage reduction now. Minus 10, minus 15, and minus 20. So we really, even though our HP leaves a little bit to be desired. Sorry, let's let's do that in like a U2 context. Even though our HP leaves a little bit to be desired. That was okay. We, uh, as of right now, have the kind of damage reduction. This is correct. Um, where our HP is a lot better than it looks, I think. Like, a lot, a lot better than it looks. Please stop trying to parry the explosions. It kills me a little inside every time. <laughs> HP? I mean, 4,000, and you gotta remember, like, 2015-10. Is that what we're at? 2015-10 or 2015-15? 2015-10. It's more than a 45% damage reduction, if my understanding of mathematics is correct. Because, like, if you take 100 and you add 50%, that's 150, obviously. If you take 100 and you add, um... Well, this is gonna expose my arithmetic here. If you take 100 and you add 10%, that's 110. And you throw in 25% of that. Thanks for picking nice round numbers. What's 25% of 110? It's like 27.5. So you're at like 137.5. Then you're going to add another 15 to that. Which is like 140 plus another. So you're at like 146. Maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference. But I, you know what? I'm going to run the numbers, okay? Here we go. Calc. You later. Which put me on through? So 100 times 1.45 is obviously 145. 100 times 1.1 times 1.15 times 1.2 is 151.8. So we actually, with 45%, uh, 45% damage reduction on paper, we're actually getting more than 50% damage reduction right now. So we have 4,154, 4, but we can actually take like. 6,000 damage. Kind of neat. Just goes to show you, like, our HP is not in a bad spot at all. Alright, so we hit the mythical 20 mark. And I call it the mythical 20 mark just because I took feedback and people said 20 is where you want to be here. for your primary stat. And we've actually gotten very lucky, or been very good, depending on your perspective. And we've managed to construct a run. What the heck is that? <laughs> I gotta know. Uh, we've managed to construct a run. Well. Oh, it's just a rune. I thought it was like a creepy tentacle or something. 
Can it be both? We managed to construct a run where we don't have much divergence of our stats. We have 20 in our primary stat, which is really 19. And then 7 in our secondary stats. And we're able to sustain that, I think, because of the fact that we have that damage reduction right now. So, it's gonna take a lot for me to change, uh... It's gonna change, take a lot for me to change my load out to... There's nothing that a balanced blade or more could ever do. Oh, no kidding. Enemies burn when they die. Um, enemies burn... Extra damage on a burning target. You know, there's something to be said about this. These are all burn synergies, but... I don't know. I kind of... Like, I think I'm highly content with our current setup. Extra damage on a burning target. Yes, of course. Yes, I understand. Yes. But uh, I think the damage... I mean, I guess the, the point is, we have a red scaling uh, skill right now with an elemental synergy. I don't want to mess with it. I'm, I'm a very happy man. So I think we're good to go. At which point, we'll be fighting a boss. And what's nice about fighting this boss is that it should actually be pretty uh, difficult. And I, I know that I, it sounds like I misspoke there. I did not misspeak. Fighting this boss should be tough. However... I think we've got all the skills we need. We, we'd really like to land some parries. This is like we have to actively attack the enemy for once. That's what we're looking for. And thank god we deflected an arrow. I'm very content to wait this out. Maybe don't just stand still. Okay, this is a good time. Oh, thank god. <laughs> this is a good time to like, heal up immediately. I don't... No, oh, so bad. Don't seem to be getting too lucky with being able to land. Just keep going. Just keep going. I don't know if that was worth the heal. <laughs> Stop. Thank God. Okay. So, I don't know, dude. I don't necessarily want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of these enemies. As I think you're discovering right now. Um, and I'm very scared about the way that this looks now. But, we're committed. And uh, that sounds like a resignation, and in many ways it is. But I, I, I don't actually... I'm not overly concerned. But I am a little bit afraid now. Because that boss fight didn't go as well as I wanted it to. Let's leave it at that. I made a big dent in the stock change here. I think it's clear against the bosses, we would really like to have a lower cooldown on our skills. More so than doing extra damage when an enemy has an elemental synergy. Now, it's really awesome. The only thing that's not awesome about it is that... Like, I love that. But the only thing that's not awesome about it... ...is the fact that it takes 15 seconds for it to work, which is a real problem. And actually, this floor is going to be a real test now that I think about it. Okay, not so bad. It's going to be a real test now that I think about it, because all of these elites are going to be close to one-on-one -on -one fights. This is definitely the one you want to fight first. Shouldn't have done that. 
That's one castle key. I feel like with respect to our stats... This is very, very bad. <laughs> it's the, the ranged enemies, dude. Remember, we only need two castle keys and then to rush. I feel like... Um, if we just rush through this floor, and normally that's going to have negative connotations, but if we can find the exit quickly and, and perform reasonably admirably... What the heck was that sound? Um, you heard that too. We can refactor our skills, go for lower cooldown, and maximize our odds of beating this boss. Of course, simultaneously, I would not say no to a good opportunity to raise our stats a little bit. Now, this is bad, but maybe the better enemies for us to fight. Or maybe we'll just die right here. I need to heal. We got a heal. We gotta heal again. This is this is not good. You gotta fight him. You're gonna have to hit him at some point. Okay, cheated death. It's like at least we can kill one. There's hope for us yet. Ah! I missed. Oh, but one died anyway. He's done it. The parry. The high testosterone parry. Now, we got to get the hell out of town. This sucks. Everything's falling apart all at once. See you later, my friend. Uh, you will also be seen at a later date. Okay. Nah, that's okay. We need gold to refactor our mutations a little bit. Well, my confidence from a... Ooh, no! My confidence from a few floors ago is duly shattered. He freaking lived. Please let... Hey! Teacher, leave this run alone. All in all, I'd like to win a run for a song. No, stop. Okay, that was clutch, but also very frightening. I do see that there's a shop of so oh, I saw a shop of some sort up here. You're not a, you're not a chef's kitchen, are you? Please tell me this is the right way. Oh my god, Tonic. We need to buy it. And then at least, like, heal up a little bit. How do we only have one key? Did I forget the key? You did not forget the key. I might have forgotten the key. But did I forget it in red or in green? Well, it doesn't look like it was in there. But there is a scroll nearby. Not a terrible time to raise your HP. Of 
course, we re-entered from the side that we had rushed past. So what do you do here? Watch out for enemies. You may have left some alive. You can't teleport through anything else here. So you need to get to one more teleporter. There's a teleporter very close by. So I think, you know, it might surprise you. I gotta own up, like, I think I've done a surprisingly good thing here just in living, so I'm pretty proud of myself, yet at the same time, obviously that floor would have been nice if it went a little better. Look at that, it's gonna be one away. Um, one mutation available, but I'm gonna reset my mutations first. And do we can choose three right off the bat, I love it. Increase my health by 30. Cooldown. Absolutely. And then, uh, I think we want extra damage when there's enemies nearby, which is very, very likely to happen on this fight. I, I'm content with those. Remember, we can't take the one again to give us just more, uh, more lives. This will be a real test. We still only have 4,800 HP, which is, I mean, not, not unexpected when you consider the fact that, you know, we, we had the plus 30% mutation to begin with. Not smart. There we go. We, I don't think we did too badly there. This is going totally fine. That was actually horrible, but we recovered some of our HP. No! Please, disappear for a moment! I parried you. Heal. Good heal, dude. One of these days I'm gonna learn that timing window and you're gonna actually be forced to eat my butt. Extremely not good. Forty six HP, huh? Please stop throwing garbage down here. Uh Okay. I owe you guys an apology for that death. I thought I was being clever with the parries. Instead, I missed two in a row and got killed. Dude, this boss is no joke. I still think we were probably dead, even if we didn't mess up. It does hurt to lose uh, 47 minutes of progress in a minute, but hey. We're getting there. One of these days, man. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.